In this video, we're going to write a C++ program to read a specific line from a file. So here I have a file with five lines of text in it, and I want the C++ program to be able to read a specific line, like line number three or line number five. So the first thing we'll do is include the fstream library. This will allow us to make an ifstream object in order to read the content of the file. Next, we'll actually create the ifstream object. So we'll have ifstream and we'll call it file. We'll prompt the user to enter in the file name of the file to read and the line number to read from that file. And we'll store both those things into variables. So we'll have string file name for the file name and int line number for the line number. Then we'll prompt the user with cout and we'll have file colon to ask for the file name. And we'll store the string the user enters into the file name variable. Then we'll prompt the user for the line number. So we'll have C out and we'll have line colon. Then we'll store what the user enters into the line number variable. Now the line number does have to be greater than or equal to one. Otherwise it's not going to work. So we'll check for that. We'll have if line number is less than or equal to zero, we have a problem. And in that case, we're going to output line number must be greater than or equal to one followed by an end line. And we're going to return one as an error status. So returning one is actually a signal to the shell or the terminal that the program did not succeed. Next, we'll try to open the file with this file name. So we'll have file dot open and we'll pass in the file name as the name of the file to open. Now opening the file could fail. For example, the file may not exist. If that's the case, the fail method of the ifstream file object will return true. So we'll check for that. So if file.fail is true, there was some kind of problem opening the file. And in that case, we're gonna output an error message and we're gonna return with the same exit status. So we're gonna have C out file fail to open, followed by an end line. And then again, we're going to return one as an error status. Next, we can find and read the line in the file that we're looking for. So we'll create a variable called current line and we'll initialize it to zero. And current line is gonna keep track of the current line in the file that we're reading. And we're gonna read the file one line at a time. And we're gonna store the line that we've just read into the string line. So it's possible that the user has requested a line number that doesn't actually exist in the file because the file is not that many lines in length. So it's possible that we're actually going to hit the end of the file before we've read in the current line. So we're gonna have a while loop condition that's going to check for that. EOF is a method of the IF stream object file that's going to return true if we've reached the end of the file. So we're gonna keep reading the file so long as we haven't reached the end of the file. So long as EOF is not true. So we'll have while not file dot EOF is true. So, so long as we haven't reached the end of the file, we're going to keep on reading the next line from the file. So because we're reading the next line, we're gonna increment current line by one. Then we're gonna store the next line of the file into the line string variable. We're gonna use the getLine function to do this. We'll have getLine and we'll pass it file and line. And this function will read the next line of the file into the line string variable. Now, if the current line number of the line that we've just read in matches the actual line number that we're looking for, then we're done. We found the line. And so in that case, we're going to break to stop the loop. Now it's possible that the file is just not long enough. So if the current line is less than the line number, that means that the file was actually shorter than the actual line number that was requested. And in that case, we're going to output an error message. So we'll have C out line not found followed by an end line. And then we'll output how many lines the file actually contains. So we'll have C out file contains, and we'll output the current line after this. So file contains current line, 
and we'll output lines total, followed by an end line. Otherwise, if the current line is not less than the line number, that means we did successfully read the line. So in that case, we'll just output the line. We'll have else C out, and we'll output line colon, followed by the actual text of the line stored in the line string, followed by an end line. And finally, we'll close the file. So we'll have file.close. So now we can try our program out. We'll save this, and then we'll compile our program. And then we'll try to run it. And I'll enter in file.txt for the file name. And let's say line two for the line. And that works okay, because we get that the line is line two. We could try it again. And we'll try this time line five with file.txt. And again, we get line five. We should probably try line one too. So I'll try it again. This time I'll enter in line one. And I get line one. Now technically, the file has six lines because this line five has a new line character at the end of it. That's why the terminal here starts off on the next line. So technically there's a six line of the file with no actual content. Let's try to read in line seven because there is no line seven. We'll try it again. We'll enter in file.txt and line seven. And we get line not found, file contains six lines total. And so we're able to handle that case as well. So this is how we can read a specific line from a file using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.